Hello, beautiful dancers. Today we are going to be doing our slow and slow five beginning belly dance combination. So let's take a deep breath in. And again, breathe in. So this is geared towards a beginning level. So don't worry, we're gonna go nice and chill and then just use foundational movements as we flow through our movements, which will be really, really nice because it'll give us an opportunity to just be with our body and understand how we start to weight change and do all those beautiful things as we move. Yeah? Good. Side to side with the hip. Three, two, one, right and left and right, and left. Good, bring the arms up. Check your shoulders right here. Make sure they're down and away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, ha. Bring everything down, unshrug your shoulders. And then come back up. Four, three, two, and down. Good. Gently hip circle to your left. So you're gonna circle around your feet. You should feel the weight in your feet change, meaning you'll feel the pressure difference in your feet. So as I come around here, you're gonna notice the heels have more pressure into the ground than the sides of the feet, than your toes, and then the other sides of your feet. So it's really just about Feeling that change and allowing yourself to go small and relaxed so you can start to feel that motion happen. One thing pay attention to is that I'm not doing this. You see how my butt comes up? That typically happens because we don't keep the tailbone down the entire time. And it could also happen when we're not being aware of what's happening with our knees. Yeah, my knees are pretty much staying right where they are from where I started. I don't bend and straighten them. And then with time, you get to add that variation on. Good, wrist circle. Reverse your hips to the right. And hands. Good. Bring them down. We're gonna step and tap in place. In four, three, two, one, step. And tap, and step, and tap. So you're staying right where you are. We're gonna slowly add all of these little bits in. So you, now you're gonna start to change the direction of the top of your body to just be slightly on an angle. Boom, you're still tapping very close to your other foot. We're staying right underneath our hips here. Boom. And arms. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your arms in. So when you tap that left foot, the left arm is gonna be out and your right hand will be by your hip. Four, three, two, one. Step, tap. Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, and tap. Good, we're gonna go back to the beginning. So we're gonna have four hip circles to the left, four hip circles to the right, and then we're gonna go into this movement, okay? Here we go in four. Three, two, one hip circle left, one, two, three, four, and reverse right here. It's one, two, keep that tailbone down, last one. So we have step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. Step, add the hip in with that step, and lift the hip, and lift the hip. And you'll notice I'm lifting right underneath my rib cage. So it's not this. 
You see how I'm pushing out? I want to pull up and in. Pull up and in. And in. One, two, three, four. Are the um, add the uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> the arms back in. Four, three, two, one. Step and lift. Pull that hip into the rib. It's one, two, three. Back to the beginning. Here we go. It's one, two. We're gonna add those arms in. Three, four. Circle to the right. Bring the arms up. One. Two, hold three, four. You're gonna step with the right foot first, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the top. Here we go. Circle to the left and circle and circle and circle. Bring the arms up, circle to the right and two. And three, and four. Step with that right foot first. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the top, one last time. Repetition is your friend. Three, four, reverse. Now, the last thing we're gonna do on that step tap is add that angular position back in. So meaning we're gonna go on the diagonal again. In four, three, two, one, step, tap, step, tap, lift, step, tap, lift, step, tap, lift. Now you're gonna place your feet together and then we're gonna shimmy. Your weight is over your heel, your tailbone is down, and you're gonna allow the hips to come up and down as you drive through the hip and allow the knees to bend. The goal is to do this at this tempo, not try and go into this because the tendency is to not have control over what happens in the upper body. So stay right here, ensuring that you're allowing the chest to stay nice and calm. And you're gonna place your hands down at the side. Yeah? So four. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna have eight beautiful counts here after the step hip lift, okay? Let's just practice a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, it's eight, seven, six, five. Then we're gonna go into the beginning and add this on the end. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, and reverse. Add the arms. It's one, two, three, four. Step right, look to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, hip shimmy. One, two, three, four. Four more counts. I want us to really settle into this movement. Three, two, and one. Very nice. The next movement we're gonna have after we have this beautiful movement is to just allow our hands to just do one of these. One, two, three, four. Four of them, sorry. I said one, which would be this. <laughs> one, two, three, four. But the key thing here is to just allow your chest to gently come along. One, two, three, four. So you would most likely in the future, not most likely, you may add hip in the future. But right now, add this. Maybe we would add this later on as we come up. Totally up to you, right? But I want you to just add the arms right here for just a moment. One, two, three, four. That one's gonna be the quickest count that you have. So it's gonna be hip shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. I sped up that count, and here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, beginning. Five, six, seven to the left. It's one, two, three, four. To the right, here we go. It's one, two, keep those shoulders nice and down. Three, four, step. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hip shimmy, settle in. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, add the arms, one, two, three, four, yes, from the beginning, so I'm going to face you this time so you can see the whole pattern from the front, here we go, to your left, three, two, one, here we go, it's one, Two, three, four. Reverse arms up. It's one, two, three, four. Step, tap. Here we go. It's step. Boom. Tap. Hit. Step. Hit. Step. Hit. And shimmy. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. It's eight, seven, six, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now arms. One, two, three, four. Yes. Well done. So all you're going to do is allow yourself to keep repeating that. And if you notice from here, what you could do is absolutely go right back into the hip circle and then just loop the combination so you have a chance to really repeat and refine it. Okay, so take your time with this one. Do it to even slower music. If you're feeling really comfortable, try just a little bit faster or try adding a little bit more elaboration, but still at this tempo. All right, either way, have fun with it and allow yourself to be okay with doing it many, many times until it feels a lot more comfortable in the body. Have fun, dancers. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. So, <laughs> so I'm teaching in Connecticut in like a week and a half and I'm so excited. So I'm teaching a performance training weekend and it's all levels. So if you're uh, starting out and you've been, not been belly dancing for very long or if you are an experienced performer, it's geared towards you. It's performance training intensive and we're gonna be going over uh, breath work as well as melting into your movement and using transitions really, really nicely for your performance and of course there's going to be a show that evening so I would love for you to be with me and train with me because we'd have a lot of fun so if you're interested in the details make sure that you check out the description below and I will see you soon bye everyone